Hey, John with Severe Thrifters. I bought some shoes and I want to show you how I clean them. Let's go. Okay, so I went to a thrift store in another town and found a pair of hokas. It was a pretty filthy thrift store. One of those, it didn't even have lights in it and it was so cold. They had like two space heaters that was trying to keep it warm in there. It was really run down and nasty, but I saw the beauty within these nasty hokas. I didn't see too much damage to them. They're just really nasty and run down. And well, I'll tell you the truth. I they were my first pair of hokas I've ever bought. So I bought. I didn't, they could have had a hole in the toe, and I wouldn't have cared. I would have bought them just to say I bought a pair of hokas. But I am cleaning them up, <clears throat> and you can see the condition of them right now and i will show you after i clean them up what they look like so this is how i clean shoes i'm sure there's a uh, better ways out there but this is just how i do it right now they uh, i always start with the bottom because every time i spray it and start to scrub it the uh, some of that residue starts to come up on the sides of the sole sizes i always do the bottom first and you'll see a couple things i have a brass bristled metal brush a toothbrush a uh magic eraser i have this as like a specialty brush i actually got it at the bins for like a dollar and it's great for me because i could scrub the sole with it it's kind of a medium bristled brush with some softer ones on the side i have oops cleaner i have oxy clean which works really good and then a couple rags so all i start with is i spray down the sole let it soak a second. And actually, I start with the bristled brush, especially on the hokas, because you got these really deep channels right through here. And you'll see how it starts to tr turn gray from all the dirt. You don't want to spend too much time doing this because that's that's money. You could be listing. Um, that's why if you watch any of my other videos, you know, try to pick cleaner shoes. I'm kind of going against the rule, but I was just super excited to finally find a pair of hokas h-o-k-a so i'm going to scrub these lower spots get these channels and i'm using that brass brush with that okay and before I make a huge mess, because you'll see what's going to happen here in a second, I'm going to lay my rag out. Okay, now I'm going to squirt it again with that same oops cleaner. You can see it running off, all that dirt. See all that? Now that that's, the channels are clean, I take my big brush here. And I rub it in, but then I go all different directions, because obviously you'll see all these different grooves. See, we're already making progress, aren't we? See that already? Look for any spots. They don't have to be perfect because these are not a brand new pair of shoes, but I believe the cleaner you get them, the more money you're gonna get for them, especially on Hoka's. I'm gonna hope to get around 60 to $70 for these. Paid five bucks. So I'm gonna call that pretty good for the bottom, that's not bad. So now we have a lot of dirt along the sides here. And then this black, you wanna try to not scrub the fabric as much. You don't wanna wear that out or be careful of the printing. But what I'll do, I've got a mess already. I will take OxyClean, squirt a little on there. I'm gonna rub it in with my soft toothbrush just to kind of spread it out and just kind of work it into the cracks. You can see it's kind of like building up that white film. And then I take the magic eraser and rub it out. You can see it already getting brighter. Now the one thing about these, this is the brand name magic eraser, the Mr. Clean ones. Man, they just shred into pieces, but it works. And one thing about these pair of shoes, they have these little slots in them. 
makes it very hard to clean with the magic eraser. So I take that little toothbrush, make sure I get into each of those. Make sure they're clean. I will use the oops. See how I did? I had that spare rag. Wipe it off. Look at that already. See, it did look like that. Now it's there. Now I do notice something was loose over here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I take the magic eraser on the Hoka. Just make sure that's nice and clean. Use it on the black. Rub that off. That looking pretty good. I haven't done the back yet, so we'll do a little bit of the Oxy Clean. Don't need a whole bunch. Just make sure you work it in. We'll take the big scrub brush. That's what I use. Yep, the oops. Not bad. Now we'll see how dirty this side is. We're gonna have to do it again. We're gonna use the uh, Mr. Clean, no, the OxyClean, sorry. We're gonna use the soft brush. Rub it in. Make sure you get in these grooves on these particular shoes. A lot of other sides of soles are actually pretty easy to clean. These have a lot of little channels and stuff. Okay, working up a good film. You can see the nice white film. So I will take this. Rub it in. See a difference? Take my oops cleaner. See it rolling off? Wipe it all down. Look at that. Tell me that don't look better already. Look at that. That is bright as can be. Looks so good. So I will take the brush has already got some residue on it and I'll lightly hit the toe box here. I don't want to overdo it and discolor it. Yep, and then I'm just gonna wipe that off. I'm not gonna spray too much on it because we don't want the chemicals to react to the fabric or anything, so. And then when I'm all done, I will lightly take this side brush and just kind of hit this fabric just to kind of like shine it up just a little bit. Like that. Get everything out of the... And voila, look at that. And one last thing, I'll take the magic eraser on the tongue label here. Clean that up a bit. And look at that. Huh? That's pretty nice. And that's what I do to clean shoes.